Okay, here we are, navigation problems. We're working our estimated time of arrival, or our ETA. All right, so we're gonna be doing a time speed distance problem here. Uh, we're working question number one. It says at 0, 0800, this is our position, which I've gone already plotted that. It says we're turning for six knots, so we know our speed. It says, what is the ETA, estimated time of arrival to this position, which we've also plotted out that. Now, I've gone and done like I always do and connected uh, the two points with a line. I need to know the distance between these two points. So in this case, they're close enough together. I can just put the two points right between them. And I'm gonna go over to our latitude scale and measure the distance between these two points, which comes up right at five nautical miles. All right, so I have a distance between the two points of five nautical miles. I know our speed, it says we're turning for six knots. So our speed is six knots and we're looking for our time. We're looking for our time so we can add it to our departure time of 0800. We need to know how long it took from getting from point A to point B so we can add it to our departure time of 0800. So I'm gonna flip back in the book so we can take a look at our time speed distance equations or what I like to use is our 60 D street. So I'm going to take our calculator here. We're gonna go 60 times our distance of five nautical miles. And then I'm gonna divide by our speed of six knots, divided by our speed of six knots. And we get 50, that's 50 minutes. Remember in 60 D Street, our time goes in in minutes and it comes out in minutes. So we have 50 minutes and that's the time that we need to add to the departure time. So let's go back and look at the departure time. So if we left at 0800 and it took us about 50 minutes to get there. Let's see here, A, no, it's too much of a difference, no. Oh. Delta, 0851, and that's our answer.